that like your relationship with food is evolving for the good. Tell us about what you guys have done diet-wise. I'm hoping by strictly following our hormone balancing diet, getting in some regular exercise, that's going to make a really big difference to the symptoms that you're suffering as part of your polycystic ovary syndrome. And this is the trouble with a lot of the foods that you can't have. It's not the food itself, it's the things that have been used to preserve it or to make it taste better. Right. <laughs> and that's why they become a problem. We're going to randomly split you into two groups in a moment and each group will be allocated a specific drink. Hello. Smiley face. Harvey, you been feeling better? So they're pretty sure that when you follow this, you're going to be fairly safe so that we can test which foods might cause symptoms in you. You have to take your calcium vitamin D every day for the rest of your life are going to stop the damage from happening to your DNA. Of people that spend an awful amount of money buying fresh fruit juice, thinking they're getting something nutritionally superior, I think most people would be really surprised to hear that actually there's not a lot in it. My favourite is getting people to make their own. Lactobacillus can be found in lots of common probiotics, either in drink form or things like tablet or sachet form. Lucy Lux, as ever, she'll have dietary suggestions <laughs> which will add to this and improve it. One of them must be, presumably, don't get too heavy. Well, yes, and I think it can be really frustrating for people when they go to the GP with a bad back or a bad knee and it's always put down to their weight. Good, good. Look at this well. <laughs> Now, dried fruit is a, a bit of a surprise for many people, but it's not only contains sugar, it's also really sticky. Mm. So it sticks to your teeth and that damage occurs then for longer. I, I know, I, I'm, it's art. affecting... She's taking great, <laughs> great care with her little scene on it. I love it. When you start to play tennis or run, that pressure then increases to three or four times your weight going through every foot. Meat and fish both have purines in, which can affect your uric acid levels, but there are some things. Protein in itself actually helps you to wee out urine, so getting protein from low-fat dairy and vegetable sources like nuts can actually help lower your uric acid levels. Can food replace drugs? In many cases, yes, and we're going to prove it.